in the last tutorial, I talked about the running mouse and I talked about using your ears. We could hear the rip and then the bubbles and that tells us when to go. Right, that's great. And it's not too bad in broken water like this because these ripples and everything are hiding me from the fish. But what about if I'm in a really slow glide down there or I'm on a lake? It's going to scare the fish. And if I'm salmon fishing, and we take a step after every cast and there's a man 50 yards, 60, 70 yards above me, he's not going to appreciate me doing really aggressive waterborne casts down the pool that he's about to fish. So how do I fix that? A great little trick here, and I call it the silent spay. Very easy. Here's our waterborne anchor and I've told you that we always start climbing the spiral staircase low to high, okay? Now if we do that, we're gonna create the running mouse. The way to get around that is there's our anchor, but just lift the rod tip. Lift the rod tip, throw the line out in the stream, back and out again. And you don't hear any running mouse. Lift, out in the stream, back, and out. Show you that again. Silence Bay, lift the rod up. Not a ripple, not a sound. Oh, I just heard the little turn of the leader there, the bubble, which we get on the running mouse. I just heard that then, but it was so slight. I didn't get it then. Absolutely silent, waterborne spay casts. You'll be thanked for it in a busy pool, trust me.